This afternoon, we have an update on that shooting at Bowie State University during homecoming. This afternoon, a conversation about gun violence and school safety took place on campus. This comes after two 19 year olds were injured in a shooting Saturday night. Thankfully, they are going to be OK, but the university wants to get the root of this problem under control. Our Evan Kozlov listening in on that community meeting. He joins us live from campus with the latest. So Evan, what exactly was said? How are they doing now? Yeah, just wrapped up about 30 minutes or so here on campus at Bowie State University. And, you know, it was all about healing. That's what I'm told uh, this event was all about, this community conversation. And, and who else to talk to than the university president, Dr. Aminta Bro? Uh, just let's just start off. Why decide to hold this event? Well, our campus has been impacted by the awful incident that happened with the injury of two individuals on our campus. Those individuals are hospitalized and we hope and pray that they're healing, but our campus needs to heal. This is not Bowie State University and who we are. This just does not happen on our campus. So our campus is uh, recovering and it begins with bringing our community together, raising awareness about what happened and then making sure our community has the resources and the support they need to begin that healing process. We heard from numerous students and a lot of them were focused on security asking about was there enough security for this event that brought in a lot of people? So what's your answer to that? Do you think there was enough security? We provided a great deal of security and prior to homecoming, we made that announcement. We listed out what we were going to do because in light of what happened at our sister institution up in Baltimore, we wanted to make sure that we took every precaution necessary that we possibly could to address safety and security. That included hiring additional uh, security officers, more police enforcement, consulting with law enforcement to say what else do we need to do. We tested out our systems around the campus including our emergency system, our blue light system, we had metal detectors, we had the SWAT team here for our Thursday concert and so we had additional safety and security. But I think what you're hearing is the concern that I think many are feeling about the society as a whole and the increased violence that's happening and there's a concern about is it ever enough. But I believe we did everything we possibly could to have law enforcement, security officers, police here, and all those measures in place. I thought it was a powerful moment in there when you brought up Morgan State University and you said that you invited them to the homecoming despite, uh, can you go into what you meant by that? Sure, well, uh, we're an HBCU family. And when one hurts, we all hurt. And when we saw the incidents that happened there uh, and the impact that it had on their community, we were uh, recognizing this is homecoming. And we invited them to our home because this is where we all begin healing as a community. We see ourselves as being part of the community, the larger community. We're not isolated. And so when people are hurting, we want to reach out and lift one another up. That's the hallmark of our HBCU, the oldest HBCU in the state of Maryland where we do lift up individuals and we try to support them in down times. And so that was the intent. It was a wonderful time throughout the week. I just want you to know that. Mm -hmm. Leading up to that incident, which was it happened at the very end of a week long of wonderful festivities, excitement, uh, the football game. And if you see any of the photos, you're going to see great excitement, a lot of joy. Homecoming's fun every year. I think we'll call it there to send it back. But thank you so much for talking with us, Dr. Bro. Again, they ended by doing a prayer at the event. Again, just emphasizing that this was all about healing today over on Bowie State University. For now, though, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Evan. Appreciate your reporting.